Hi guys, it's Tuesday, so it's down and dirty woodcraft. And today we're going to talk about how to carry a length of paracord in your haversack that doesn't tangle up, doesn't cause a mess, and it's easy to repeat over and over again. Stay with me. Okay, let's talk about how to carry paracord or how to carry line in our haversacks. Most people hank them up and hanking is very efficient when I want to open up and have the entire length, like say for a ridge line. But what if I'm not doing that? I'm just wanting to carry like a hundred feet of paracord to be able to pull off of. Well. A couple of years ago, Steve Davis on his channel demonstrated this technique, and I've been using it ever since, and I want to show you how to make one of these. Now, this is simply, oh, 25, 30 feet of paracord, but I've turned it into a donut. Now, why do this? Because I'm buying shroud line. Now, what that is is when the military decommissions a parachute, they cut the lines off of it, and they sell the parachute silk, and they sell the cord separately so some yahoo doesn't try to jump off a building with it, you know? Well, I buy a big bag of shroud line, and it varies by what the parachute was. And I got lucky a year or so ago, and I picked up one of them big cargo chutes lines for 20 bucks. I probably got a 1,000 feet of line out of it. And so, how do you carry this in your haversack and not be a big bird's nest? Well, this is what we're going to carry. And why? Because of this. I simply pull the thing out of the loop, and I'm going to show you how to do this. I just got wound to that top loop two or three times. And now once it's free of that, all I got to do is pull. And that will completely unravel just like that. I can stop at any time and it stays together. But we're going to unravel it and the end of it, I tie bowling. So, let me adjust the camera and I'm going to show you exactly how okay. we do this. Okay, we're going to start with the length of paracord. I like to go ahead and tie a knot in both ends. This keeps it from unraveling. Now, I'm going to take it, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to bring up and make a loop over, just like that. So you just uh, twist it up so you got a bite going across the top. Now you're going to take, make it fairly small. I'm going to take that loop. I'm going to come up to the hole, go around, and back down through the hole. That is a bow line. And then I'm going to pull, and that's going to cinch it up. And notice I've left that little loop. That's my starting loop to create this. Now all I'm going to do is see, fold it over. See this loop right here? I'm going to push it up to the bottom, take my thumb, and I'm going to push it back up through that loop, just like that. Now I'm going to come to the outside, and I'm going to push a loop up through that one. Come to the inside of the loop, push a loop up, and each time, see, I'm kind of laying it and circling. Now I go to the outside, push up a loop, inside push up a loop keep rotating it around and as I'm doing this it's wrapping around that loop forming that donut outside inside outside inside that's all it is over and over again now make sure you go all the way around just like this. Now all you're going to do is just wrap over itself at every turn. We're just going inside, outside, inside, outside, making a relatively small loop to do it. The tighter the loops, the tighter the donut. The bigger the loops, the bigger the donut. It really don't matter. It's still going to go apart and take apart the same way. Okay, let me jump to the finish and I'll show you how to tie okay. it off. Now we've got around to this. This is the last loop I brought up. And I could just go through, 
come up, go through that one. But now my little stubby, see I pull it down, I'm going to, a little short end, I'm going to go through that loop once, pull it tight, turn around and go through that loop a second time. Just like that. That keeps it from unraveling the haversack. Thus, I've got how many feet of line I want. You know, each one of these is 20, 30 feet long of the lines I've got. And I go ahead and make up these donuts. Now that easily slides in a pocket. It's not a problem. It doesn't tangle up. You just grab it and go. So if I want cord that I'm going to pull out and make into something, these, that's a given size and I know how much it is. Could you do it for a ridge line? Yeah, you could, and you may want to do that for something like an emergency shelter. But to be honest, this takes time. It took me about five, six minutes to make up this donut. And that's a lot of time when you're trying to break camp. Um, it's quicker to hank it, like I said, for a ridge line, because I'm just going to go through, hook it, and walk to the other end. You know, relatively minor. And it's going to be rolled up inside of a tarp or some sort of shelter. But this is gonna be loose in the haversack. This is my supply cord. I also carry a supply of those oddball short length pieces that when you're making something, you end up with a piece that long of paracord, I automatically go ahead and tie the knots and turn it into, into a Canadian jam knot. And I carry those in my pack, daisy chained up, not made into a, a circle like this, but simply doing the same operation and making it lengthwise. Those don't tangle up either, and so I can just reach in and go and have a Canadian jam knot ready to go. So I can make a tripod, I can hook a piece of gear to a tree, I can secure something right quick. And it works very, very fast and very, very versatile. So, if you're looking for a way to carry cord in your haversack and it not be a mess that you're constantly having to dig it out and all my gear is messed up, think about doing one of these. Hope this gives you some ideas, guys. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Woodscraft. Wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.